Okay, so it's a very quiet uh, day here at the cafe, so I decided to take advantage to talk about something that uh, came off the airways real quick. It's involving a story that I covered not on my entertainment channel, but my more serious political channel. Um, it's involving Usher. Um, there has been an update on the situation that has happened, and for those who don't know, Usher had a near scare, a near tragedy um, in the family. His son um, nearly drowned in the backyard of a pool. Um, luckily, there were some people there who came to his aid and managed to free him from the drain and uh, revived him. Um, and as a result of this situation, his ex-wife of, uh, of two years has filed for emergency custody um, to gain custody of his um, of his of his son. Um, the judge had basically ruled against that. Uh, they said here on Friday um, that it recently had now passed. Um, Ex-wife of the R&B uh, R&B singer Usher um, still has custody of the children after one of them was hospitalized uh, following a swimming pool accident in uh, Usher's house. Um, the judge, uh, which is. Uh, uh, name is John S. Um, Goyer, uh, John J. Goyer, um, dismissed the motion of a, of a, pr of a primary custody file on Tuesday uh, by Tamaka Foster saying that there was no reason for the singer to relinquish primary custody because of one accident. Usher 34 has custody of Fabio Usher Raymond V and his younger brother, uh, I believe it's called Nive, um so this is uh, a very situation um, that has have occurred and one of the main reasons why she filed the court um, is that uh, one she had a similar tragedy of, uh, of her son from a different um, husband and uh, after hearing this it was pretty much a knee-jerk reaction oh my god this place is not safe um, I was not much mad as Usher on the situation because Usher wasn't at um, the house when this whole thing happened um, but there were other people who were supposed to be keeping an eye on on on, um, on this on this kid and uh, from what I've been reading it didn't look like they did a very good job luckily there were other people there who were able to came to the scene and rescue him um, but but I better believe that uh, this was something that could have been a lot more worse um, as for the mother blaming Usher um, this was pretty much more of a reaction from a, the tragedy that she recently went through, as well as who the hell was watching this kid, in which I think that's what's where that, that main situation comes um, to play. But um, in any case, I will leave a link below where um, the talk, uh, where you guys can look at more of what's been going on, but that is something that has came out the airwaves, um, something that I was going to update as soon as I hear something, um, and uh, for now, it looks like um, Usher's worries that he may lose the custody of his son um, has been pretty much uh, quiet down. But make no mistake about it, um, if I'm Usher, um, in this situation that's happened, I'm going to be having a lot of worries with a lot of family members' minds to make sure that never happens again, because it was a very, very scary moment. Um, <coughs> he had talked about it um, publicly, about the situation. Uh, and I think the judge said that um, it really wasn't his fault because he really wasn't there. But it made them really think about it that um, the judge has a few things to say to Usher and his family members uh, to make sure this doesn't happen again. Otherwise, <laughs> you may not be so lucky next time. I will pretty much uh, reconsider that situation. But I'll leave the link below, you guys, uh, to read yourself. And uh, until next time, this is J77 saying uh, we look at the comments. Looking at what you got to say. Until then, take care and be safe. I'll talk to you soon.